where the river runs, there's life, fresh water, and sunlight. The current seeps into the endless blue. A cabin by the river, just for a solo. A solo resisting stress. A solo in search of peace. I didn't know what was in store for this wipe. So instead of rushing to put something down, I roamed across the land, collected loot, and explored. But no matter where I turned, trouble was always there. But as a solo, I'm used to dodging it, at least for as long as I can. collected loot, I headed to Outpost to recycle. At least now, I would have some hemp and could make a sleeping bag. Yeah, I died, and I lost what I collected, but that's okay. Think about it. How much loot does one solo collect in one wipe? This loss means nothing. Solos don't dwell. We get up, and we get back at it. Here, in the desert, I considered building my base. So, for the time being, I did some farming, and I set down a starter base.
was nice to have some shelter in the dark, but something about this location didn't feel right. So I kept it as a backup and continued looking. In Rust, you often find guys like this, simply camping the fishing village for anyone coming. But rarely, you find guys like this. These type of solos are gold. In my eyes. Hello. No, 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 no. Don't run, don't run, don't run. What's your name? What's your name? Orange. Take it, bro. I was lucky I laid down a bag before I died because when I respawned I quickly found this to me this is a slice of heaven pure peace all you hear is the movement of the water and the birds chirping in the sky. After everything that happened last wipe, I needed this. It was time to chill, lay back, and enjoy this solo life. It was so beautiful here. Even the sunsets felt different. The water was abundant. The food was endless. And there was wildlife everywhere. I was completely at peace. While heading over to Farmer Road, I heard someone in their base, and it was a solo, so I decided to just continue what I was doing. But then, this happened.
that headshot was too clean. So I had to come back and get some instant revenge. Between looting and farming, I made sure to always collect berries because teas are very OP. But also, I had another idea in mind, so keep watching. My little cabin was feeling so cozy. First thing in the morning, I was planning on farming so much wood because I needed to expand. But just as I was grabbing wood to begin expanding, I heard a different type of footstep through the river, and I knew it wasn't friendly.
the fact that this man kept coming back was really killing my chill, and I began to worry about opening my door. I was really hoping that I could have an open base without too many doors, but this situation left me no choice. Chill, 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 chill. Didn't want to kill you, man. Going for this airdrop was a mistake. Everyone was here, and I didn't stand a chance with my bow. But when I spawned back at base, I noticed this guy in the distance. Look, man. If you're cool, I'm cool. I don't want to hurt you, man. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. You alive? When he got close enough, yeah, that's my base. I realized who it was. You're my neighbor. Where do you ah, live? Ah, orange, orange. I, I'm friendly. I not uh, want uh, war. Okay. All right, man. I'm friendly too. Uh, do you live um back here? Why? No, no, no. Uh, oh, why? Oh, no, no, I just want to know, just so I, just so I don't mess with you, man. Alive. Okay. Oh, this one here? Yeah, I'm just, uh, um, I live here. Oh, you live here? Okay, okay. Okay, man. All right, well, I'm going to put you down, um, as a friendly, okay? I don't know if you can understand me. What? Uh, it's okay, man. We, we're um, we're allies, okay? Allies, friendly. Uh, I want um, building house. Uh, yeah. It's here. Wait, you want to build a house here? Are you good? I I want a building is here. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, man, that's fine. I just I just one thing I ask. If you could just leave the river open, that way I can uh, bring a boat. That's the only thing. O okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> that's it, but yeah, feel free, man. Uh, feel free. Sorry, I'm from in Ukraine. Oh, that's okay, man. No worries, no worries. Yeah, I just want to, like, that's my base. I just want to have oh, a boat. Okay, okay. Yeah, good. just one boat. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, okay. Okay, good. man. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Now? that I made peace with my only enemy. I felt better, and I grabbed some tools and began to expand.
There wasn't a better feeling than listening to the water rush while I built. Just take a moment and listen. The base was coming together nicely, and the bears were here to witness it, and they weren't being too friendly. With all of the wood I collected, I continued the expansion of my cabin. That nearly gave me a heart attack. I know, the base is a cabin, completely made of wood. It wouldn't stand a chance against any raid, but that's not the point. The point is that this wipe, I wanted the least amount of stress. 
And this base was exactly that. And on that particular night, I logged off. And when I returned, everything seemed normal. But when I went outside to admire my view and take in the river in the corner of my eye, I noticed something. All of the pieces started connecting. The man who fired at me while I was building. The fact that I have no indication of upkeep. These were all bad signs. And that's when I discovered it. My cozy, solo base had been raided. Thank you all so much for watching. And a special thank you to my YouTube members. I'll see you all in the comment section. Part 2, coming soon. You've been watching an Orange Dream production.